Hello, you're welcome to Easy Mass Tutor. On this episode, we're going to treat some rather unique looking swords, like this one that I just wrote, root 3 over 2. Now, swords that look like this are also irrational numbers and cannot be simplified further. But when you see swords looking like this over root 3, then they can be simplified further. When you see swords written in the denominator like this, then they can be simplified further. How do we do this? We do this by rationalizing the denominator. What do we mean by rationalizing the denominator? It means that we multiply the top, the numerator, and the denominator by that sword. For, for instance, for instance, we can rewrite the sword by rationalizing it. All right? Rationalize the denominator. All right? By multiplying the numerator by the same sword. All right? It's an identity because we're multiplying it by something that cancels out to give us one. So it's of non effect. But in the, in the case of such swords, it will help us to simplify the sword better. So if we rationalize this, we're going to have root 3 times root 3. We're going to have this. We're going to have 2 root 3 over 3. All right? Because root 3 times root 3 will give us 3. Root 3 times 3 will give us 3. And 2 times root 3 will give us to root 3. So if we rationalize the denominator of a sword that looks like this, this will be our answer, our final result. And so now, the purpose of rationalizing swords, the denominator of swords, is to help us to solve problems. You can find some of these problems in trigonometry, in um, finding um, circle problems, triangle problems, and so on and so forth. So it helps you to further simplify. It also helps you in solving square root problems. Okay, so let's rationalize these simple problems. I'm going to do the first two and I'm going to leave the last one for you as an assignment or we're going to do the three and I'll drop one for you as an assignment. So we want to rationalize the denominator of these three sword terms that were given to us. So we will have 6, 6 root 3, all over root 3, right? Will give us 6 root 3 over root 3, all right? Root. That will be 6 root 3 over 3, because we know that root 3 times root 3 will give us 3. The square root of a number times the square root of the same number will give us that number. So we have 3 here going 1, 3 here going 2. So our final answer is 2 root 3. So we're going to be rather fast in solving these ones. So this other side we have, we have times root 6 all over root 6. We're rationalizing the denominator, right? So we have 12 root 6 all over 6. Remember, root 6 times root 6 gives us 6. 6 goes here 1, 6 goes here 2. So our answer is 2, 2 root 6. Root 6 cannot be, cannot be simplified further because there is no factor that is a perfect square in 6. So this would be our final answer for, for this. Then to rationalize this final one, we will have root 2, all right, root 2, all over root 2, giving us root 2 all over 2. So this is our final answer. This is our final answer. So as a take-home assignment, I want you to rationalize 4 over root 2. When you, calculate, when you rationalize this, please Drop your answer in the comment section and I'll tell you the right
answer. Problem that we can use to apply rationalization of the denominator of sorts. So the problem goes thus. Given root 2 is equal to 1.414 and root 3 is equal to 1.732. Find the value of 2 over root 3 and 1 over root 2. So for us to have a very easy answer or an easier way to solve it without using calculators, we're going to have to rationalize the sorts before we substitute the answers. So the first scenario, which is 2 all over root 3, all right? 2 all over root 3, right? We'll rationalize it, we'll say root 3, root 3, all right? Giving us 2 root 3 all over 3, all right? So we know the value of root 3 is this, right? So we'll say 2 times 1.732 all over 3. You see how easy it is to solve? Very, very simple. Very, very simple. So, if you use your calculator, write the answers down. Then for the next scenario, you have 1 all over root 2. Rationalize it. Root 2 all over root 2, right? Giving us root 2 all over 2. Root 2 all over 2. So root 2, we all know, is 1.414 all over 2, all right? So we're going to simply cancel 2 out here, 0 0.707. So our answer is 0 0.707, all right? All right? So we're also going to do, the, do that here. 3 will go here once. 3 goes into 17 five times. Remainder 2. 3 goes into 21, 7 times. Remainder 2, 7, 5. So multiply to 0 0.5775 times 2. Gives us 10 carry 1, 14 carry 1, 15. 14 carry 1, 15. So our final answer will be 1.1. Five. So, this is one of the ways we apply our rationalization of the denominators of sorts. So, I want to say thank you for stopping by in this channel. Don't forget to write the correct answer that you got in those problems in the comment section. Remember, you can find us on this channel. 4 p.m. GMT every weekday or every other day. Thank you for coming. Thank you to our returning subscribers. And I also want to say, if you're new here, you're welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. You can also support this channel in any way you deem possible. Thank you for watching. See you in our next class.